What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking you guys behind the scenes and showing you guys my current YouTube setup. Let's get right into this. So as you guys can probably tell for some of my newer videos, the background scene has definitely changed some and there's a good reason for that. The reason for that is because I've moved. I am currently living with my girlfriend right now, it's going great, and for now, a lot of my YouTube videos are going to be done in different areas than what you guys are used to seeing for some of my older videos. Most of the time, all of my videos before were recorded on the couch or up in my bedroom. Now, they're most of the time going to be recorded here. So, behind me here, whenever I do any gaming videos, I will usually have my camera, tripod, light, and everything all hooked up and recording in front of the TV, whether or not it's about the PlayStation 4, PS3, or any how-to videos. Most of the time I will record here, it's just a little bit easier for me to do right now. Now when I'm recording any of my other videos, especially any of my collection videos, normally this is going to be what you guys are going to see from now on in the background. This is mine and my girlfriend's new collectibles shelves that we set up and I will record and sit on this little stool and I have my two tripods, one for the lights and one for my camera right here. Now the reason for me personally as a YouTuber why I use two tripods, one is for just the camera and one is just for the lights. The reason for that is whenever I have the camera on the tripod with the light which it's able to do so, I can't really see the viewfinder because the light is blocking it and I have to basically look into the lights to be able to see the little piece of viewfinder that I can actually see. It became really frustrating so I decided to use my main tripod for the camera. It's really easy that way if I need to disconnect it to change the battery or the memory card then I can just do that easier than if the light was also attached. And for the tripod that the light is attached to, that's the tripod that came with the light. However, it is an extremely lightweight and cheap tripod that I don't feel safe putting the weight of my camera on that tripod and trusting it. That's why I have it set up like this. And the light also has to be connected at all times to a power bank. I thought it's one that can charge, but it isn't. So this is the easiest thing for me for my current setup. Of course, for any of my other videos, all I have to do is pick a point in this room and I can set up all the tripods with the chair and just be able to record the video. But these are the two Two most locations that I use with gaming content right in front of the TV and any of my other videos, especially my collecting videos, I'll have all my collection right behind me at all times. As for editing and the rest of my stuff, normally I will have the laptop just on the bed ready to edit, look up stuff whenever I need to for a video, or do anything else like that. Sometimes I will have it on the desk over here if I'm able to edit that way, but most of the time it's easier for me in the bed here. And I'll have everything else sprawled out, all the attachments from my camera, all the batteries laid out in case I need to change them out, all my books with my notepads, everything for the cameras, the consoles I'm talking about, if I need to have a visual for them, I will have everything set out ready to go for whenever I need to record different videos. As for my hockey card videos, most of the time I will have either on a desk or another way I won't use the lights I'll just put a tripod with the camera on it and I will angle it so I'm able to actually see all the hockey cards that's the easiest way for that since I don't need to actually see my face in it it's easier just to set up the tripod facing down on a desk and opening up the hockey cards that way for some of my other videos this is normally what you are going to see moving forward because I absolutely love this setup. Now that I am fully moved in, it's way easier for YouTube especially to be able to record all of my content because I have all my stuff in one place instead of having to move back and forth all of my lights, tripods, my camera, and everything else that I need for my videos. I have everything in one place. It's way way easier for me to record definitely now and I don't have to drive back and forth if I need anything because I was an hour away now I have everything in the same spots and I'm able to live with my girlfriend so I get to spend a lot more time with her while also doing what I enjoy making videos for YouTube selling stuff on eBay and also gaming of course one thing that I have not shown you guys yet and that is my eBay room I have a bunch of my dressers and that for my clothes and different things like that but I do have a lot of totes full of my eBay products that I do sell on eBay now if it's any gaming consoles that I do have first thing I usually do is I'll go and I'll test them on the TV make sure they are working and all of the games are working then I'll go and store them in the other room but you guys have yet to see the other room and I'm not to be showing you guys that today because for this video I wanted to talk about my YouTube setup and share all of that with you and the other stuff isn't really stuff that I'm going to be sharing in videos it's just where I have all of my eBay stuff if anybody that's interested in my flipping for profit videos here on YouTube where I share a lot about my eBay 
comment down below. I might do a video sharing how I store all my eBay stuff and how I do all my eBay stuff in the future. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys my YouTube setup. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now you get to see my current YouTube setup for whenever I'm recording my videos. I absolutely love my setup right now. It's very practical for me. Everything's easy access and I can get to everything fairly quickly and record my videos in bulk like I'm used to, which you guys absolutely love seeing. Thank you guys for all of your love and supports. I am so thankful that I'm able to not only make content for you guys, but share everything that I do for YouTube, eBay, and everything else that I do in my life. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.